Do you have any threes? Did you just make it rain cards? Someone had to. Hello, welcome to Las Vegas. I mean, zero to awesome. I mean, today we're gonna to be deciding what features Sarah Terra gets via cards. Who knows what's on these? I'll be honest though, some of these, they're gems. These ones are the gems. These are better. Wait, player three has entered the game. Oh my God, who is this? Hi. So, we each have 10 cards and they all say don't mess with Texas because you shouldn't mess with Texas. And then on the other side, there's stuff. So we have each put 10 ideas for Sarah Terra, 10 features we would like to see in Sarah Terra on the backs of these cards. So we are going to play Go Sarah Terra. And if we all have the same idea for Sarah Terra, there's a good chance it's gonna happen. If we don't match any, this is gonna be interesting. Um, but the ones that don't match, you know, maybe they'll make it on, maybe they won't. It all depends how we're feeling that day. So without further ado, woo! Sarah's sister goes first. Do you have any tiny closets for the tiny hanger? <laughs> I have storage. I have nothing that practical. Great. Two votes for closet storage stuff. That means you get to go here. I have... No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Phrase you... your answer in the form of a question. <laughs> What is a working engine? <laughs> no. Too soon. <laughs> Funny story about that. You'll probably see it on a different episode. You know what? I think all my cards assume that Sarah runs, so. Uh oh. So nobody has that one. Yeah, if no. we have to pick up like a Ford Explorer or something, we're really gonna have to change the name of this whole thing. <laughs> That would be one vote for working engine. <laughs> it's gonna be really sad when y'all pimp this thing out and then it doesn't run. <laughs> all right, this one might be throwaway because I know we've all talked about it, but I don't think they know what we're thinking. So I'm gonna go with Russian nesting slide outs. Yeah, I did not have anything, again, that helpful. Well, you know, sometimes um, it's gonna be obvious. Mm, yeah. Camping cat display case. <laughs> <laughs> Camping cat display case? <laughs> yeah. That's like it, the same it's, thing. It's close. So um, I did I did have I did have blackout curtains and memory foam, which I think plays into the Russian nesting theme. Yeah, okay. So camping cat aside, uh, the Russian nesting slide out means we're gonna put a box of sorts in the back of Sarah Terra, and then it slides out and you sleep in there, but then there's maybe another slide out and then there's your kitchen or something else out there. So slide, 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 Russian nesting, Sarah Terra. S someone put some of my cars upside down. All right, we're going to go with stuff on the ceiling. What is that? Stuff on the ceiling. Alan knows what I mean. I know exactly what he means, but I also did not have that. I'm losing at a game that I helped make up. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go with rooftop tent, because that's sort of like... That's the opposite of rushing nesting, Russian nesting. Sarah that's Tara. what's in that, that was the last one. <laughs> but you, that's the opposite. It's stuff on the ceiling. As they debate this, I think what he means is, I used to have a camper called a tiger moth that was very modular and you could strap all sorts of stuff with carabiners and nets and hooks to the ceiling. It was very organizational and a bad place to put a wet towel because it drips in your face all night. That, that is exactly what I mean. I think Steven just lost because he had no matches. Yeah. So I'm going with Arby's. <laughs> what? <laughs> because they have the meats. Oh. And Sarah needs some meaty meat tires. No, this one's close but not quite. Mine's very close. Mine is wheels that don't come off the car when driving. <laughs> Too soon, again, too soon. I'm just saying, we need all these things. <laughs> As somebody who recently had a wheel come off a car, I'm just gonna take the win. I'm gonna take the W. And with that, I'll play something- Does W mean wheel stays on the car? <laughs> I thought we just discussed too soon. Too soon. Too soon for everybody. 
Um, so this, I feel like if this one doesn't win, nothing will. Hot shower. That's good because I had water park. <laughs> I don't have that. <laughs> yes, but to me, water park means hot shower, water tank, other things that go with water. What's next, Darren? I want a wine fridge. I kind of assumed like we'd do, be doing like a fridge sort of thing, but I'm going to go with um, lounge area. What? That's not even close lounge to area. a wine fridge. The li lounge area could include a wine fridge. Is it possible that the lounge area would be a rooftop patio with a ladder? No, that's a different card. That's like a different one. I'm playing it. Rooftop patio with a ladder. That's pretty cool, I like that. I always assumed the lounge area would be inside. Where is your uh, wine fridge? Inside, outside, in between? Upside down. I've been saving this idea for a very long time now. And I feel like since we're discussing wine fridges, the wine fridge I feel like would be in the kitchen or the galley. Correct. And I think the plans so far have been Russian nesting, slide out, and then another slide out with the kitchen. What if Sarah Terra has a trailer hitch? What if there's a tiny trailer that Sarah Terra towed that was something like a trailer kitchen? Oh. Isn't that just, cheating? Is it? Yeah. Your slide outs could be nothing but fun and enjoyment and more space for activities. And then you hook up your trailer kitchen or your trailer shower or your trailer bathroom. What or if we made- jet ski? What if we made Sarah Terra, Sarah Terra, and then we made an entire bathroom out of another trailer? I support that. So I she gets all those fine, but by lounge area, I mean, I think the front seats turn around and then you have like kind of like this lounge area so you don't have to go back into Sarah Terra. You're just kind of hanging out, you open the back doors and assuming there's not smoke coming in your car because the engine's smoking, you just kind of hang out. But you, you know, you'll have gotten a new engine because I, requested it. <laughs> How is she winning? I think she's just taking the car. Isn't this our game? Was looking. <laughs> <laughs> We're losing at our own game. Here's right. a straightforward vanilla vanilla answer. Solar power. Um, I have one related to solar power, but not quite solar power. Anti-dead battery. <laughs> so, solar power, a solar charge controller could charge your battery. Also, I'm thinking we put a port on the side of the Sarah Terra so you can plug the Sarah Terra into shore power and your battery doesn't go dead because we're only gonna have one battery, right? So we use the deep cycle marine battery, which mm -hmm. is also the car battery, as yep. the house battery for the Sarah Terra. Yes, and if you drain your house, you can't start your Sarah Terra. So we should be able to hook it up to solar, to shore, to generator. To LED lights like Bob. You're getting ahead of all my cards. Just kidding. <laughs> you can put it down, I'll play another one. Okay. I'll just cut. LED lights like bulb? Yeah. Okay. Sweet LED lights. Like bulb. Like bulb. I always knew there were going to be LED lights. No. So one LED lights underneath the next terror because Alan got so excited when he thought <laughs> Sarah Terra had <laughs> undercarriage LEDs. We call them pimp lights, yo. <laughs> but also the one thing we've wished we had in Bob, which you haven't seen Bob, maybe there's a link up there somewhere you can go watch and see Bob. Uh, but like ambient LED lights inside the cabin for at night when you just want like a little bit of light, but you don't want like lights shining all on you, that sort of stuff. That's a good idea. Uh, Steven, I think you're up. Steven, it's your turn. Steven, are you gonna play your cards? <laughs> Woo, the winning streak continues. I am going with Spider-Man Winch. That is a good call. Why is it Spider-Man? That's a good question. <laughs> Why is it a Spider-Man Winch? Think of this, you're out, you're stuck in the mud, you have a winch, and it's broken, what are you gonna do? Why have one winch when you can have multiple smaller winches coming out of the front of your bumper like Spider-Man? <laughs> Maybe like three in the front, two in the back, a couple on the side. Oh, I'm Spider-Man, I'm pulling stuff out. This is a good idea. I really just... No one had Spider-Man winch, that's not a winner. <laughs> um, 
external speakers to play Cynthia Hyatt on repeat. I also don't have anything like that. Really? Um, no. I had something similar. If Sarah Terra is going to be an off-road beast, she needs a CB radio for safety. Hmm. And if you're going to have a CB radio, why not have an external PA system? Ah. Think of this. It's two in the morning. You're thirsty. You come over the intercom. Steven, bring me a beer. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll respond by not bringing you a beer. I don't think either of these are going to happen, but My Little Pony Rainbow paint job. I can't say that I have a My Little Pony rainbow paint job on any of these cards. I thought we were just leaving it like black with dents. Are we gonna do body work and fix it? You know, if it runs, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> like a special trim package, black with dents. Rainbow dense. might be better than black with dents. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You, you got like the 2LT, you got the Lariat, you got the Platinum, you got the black with dents. <laughs> It's matte. Some of it's matte. <laughs> Not all of it's matte. All right, well, I'm gonna go because I have so many cards left. How do you have three? Yeah, I'm gonna go because I have so many cards left, which means I'm so good at this game because my ideas are all so much better than y'all's, and y'all just think too much alike. I mean, it's, just it's like space. You wanna be the first? Rooftop deck this time? What? Yes! Rooftop patio! Why didn't yeah. you play that with this? If you're gonna do a rooftop deck, I think we need a fireman pole. <laughs> So this one's kind of a throwaway, I feel like, but climate stuff. What? As in, Alan, I think, still has his air conditioner heater thingamajig. Yeah, I sold that when I sold the camper. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna take this back. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. We'll put in a fan. Fan, okay. people. Are we all down to one card? Yeah. My card will not go with anybody's card. Okay. My card is the winner. I'm gonna play the king of clubs. We know we're replacing the bumpers, but something that dawned on me is we're gonna build our own steel bumpers. They need some big beefy tow hooks. Cause I feel like at some point Sarah's gonna get stuck or Sarah's gonna tow somebody out of being stuck. Big steel bumpers with tow hooks and D rings and beefy meaty beef. Beefy, meaty beef. So you know what you could hook to your big beefy tow hooks to pull you out is your getaway scooter. Because someone I know ordered an electric scooter and I think it'd be cool if the scooter just kind of popped out of Sarah and then you could ride your scooter. Oh my God. What's your last card, Erin? More mascara. Oh, uh, there's already so much though. How yeah. can you have more than all? You can never have too much of a good thing. You can never look too good. The mascara Sarah Terra. I like it. You know they make those um, eyelashes for cars? No. You just said more mascara. I mean, what are we gonna put it on? I don't know. Is there a winner? There's a lot of ideas here. We're also open to your ideas. Unless they're wrong or expensive. Unless they're really cool, in which case, we found some checkbooks in the car. Thanks, Chad, for sponsoring this video. <laughs> so I feel like what we have determined is for sure we're gonna have hot water involving showers. Lights of some sort. Some sort of power connection, shore power, solar power, battery power. Speakers and or lounge roof area. Mm. A off-roady, bumpery, winchy, very capable RV. That we slides out. Wheels that don't come off. No, we're not doing the tiny closet. <laughs> <laughs> so these are our plans. Some of them will happen, some of them won't. Which ones? I don't know, hit subscribe to find out. I can't back up, there's too many good ideas blocking my view. I really hope this never makes its way onto the internet. But again, I had a camper that had a little step on the back and sometimes, late at night, 
maybe you've had a bit to drink or just you have a small bladder and you'd have to pee. You would open the back door and stand on the step and just have a little wee. And it was referred to as the pee porch. One night, I'm out there enjoying a fine evening pee, at one in the morning. And I, Cut! <laughs> and I see this. I see this little light. This little light just dangling about. Perhaps it's a firefly. Oh, perhaps it's just a, you know, a whimsical thought of the imagination. But no, it was a friend who was also camping who was smoking a cigarette three feet away, and I almost peed on them. 